Hi, my name is Josh Stokes. I'm the Water Conservation Specialist for the City of Napa, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do an easy but safe science experiment with just a few things you can find around your house. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a water filter, but also show you guys how water collects underground. So today, you'll need a two liter bottle. You'll need a little bit of screen. Please do not take this out of one of your screens that you find on your windows. A coffee filter. A little bit of sand, a little bit of different size rocks, and another different little bit bigger size rocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors, we're going to cut off the top portion of, the, of our two liter bottle. We're going to take our screen. and put our screen on it like so. Take a rubber band, put it on like so. This way the rocks don't fall through when you, when you start filling your two liter bottle. Okay, now, now the first one is, I'm gonna show you guys is how water can actually flow through this. If you use the coffee filter, it does tend to kind of back up inside and it takes a little bit more time for it to drip out of the bottom. You can do that. It will clean, get the water a lot clearer. You still want to remember not to drink the water once it comes out of the bottom. It will be clear, but it is not safe to drink uh, because of the microorganisms and stuff in the water. You would still need to boil it, so please do not drink the water uh, once, it, once the water goes through and it does look clean. We'll take water that looks like this and we'll turn it into something that looks clear. When we do the second portion, I'll put the filter on so that it kind of holds the water back a little bit so you can see how the water does build up underground and, and kind of fill in the, the crevices in between the rocks, okay? So the first one you'll want to do is take the bigger, bigger chunks of rocks and you'll want to just get a nice big layer of them in there. So it's yay, yay full or so. Then you are going to want to take this your second layer of rocks. Get a nice, nice layer in there. So you have your two different layers of rocks and then your sand. I want to do this a little bit more carefully so I'm not getting sand all over the table. But once you have it, your sand in there, you'll see the three different layers. You'll have your bigger grain, your smaller grain, and your sand. So now you're ready. You're ready to pour your, your dirty water in and see what happens. It will take a second for the water to start working its way downward through the sand. That's actually doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to. All the dirty, gunky stuff is supposed to, to stay at the top. And you can see how the water is starting to go through the bottom. Now it is still a little bit dark, partly because the material was a little bit dirty when I, when I started the experiments. If you ran a little bit of water through this, it would clear out some of that dirty, dirty material and you'd get a lot more uh, clearer water. But you can see how the water is starting to work its way down through the filter and now into the container. Like I said, that water is still a little bit brown, but that's also because of how dirty the, the material was that I put it in. If you ran a couple, a couple containers through this, the water would start to clear up. If you put the filter on it as well, it would have caught all of that, that dirty material uh, on the first run. I just didn't want it to take as long. I wanted you to be able to see the water coming through. So you could also put a filter on it like so. It would hold back the water a little bit more, but you could see how the water does fill in between the cracks, which is exactly how an aquifer works as well. Water goes down through the, through the top of our soil when it rains. It works its way down through the different material and the earth cleans it uh, naturally. And then it builds up in aquifers underground. 
and is then uh, clean, safe water uh, for people to pull out uh, using wells and those types of things. So I hope you guys learned something today. This is just an easy little science experiment you, that anybody can do at their home. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great day.